Good evening, it's Kuro. Got a... This is basically going to be a video I'm doing on uh, Captain's Guides, logistics, and uh, basically how to go with, go over everything from grinding captains to, you know, backfilling your tech tree lines, basically everything captain related that I can think of in one shot, uh, with the intent that uh, this question's come up a couple times this this last month rather than keep doing a, an in-depth uh, explanation every single time uh, just refer guys back to this video and this will also go in the how-to series and uh, you know show people it, you know at least one way how to approach this so uh, from the get-go uh, Captains are are really well outside of NTC. Um, they're actually the real grind in uh, in World of Warships. Um, you know, grinding a, a tier ten ship. You know that take uh, you know probably at the average person these days two to three weeks. Um, with the the current economy it was a lot it took a lot longer uh, when I first started out it took um, the better part of three months or so for me to actually get uh, my first tier 10 Shimakaze so uh, gonna go over captains uh, let's start with the grind you're going to start a a new grind Let's say, just for shits and giggles, you're going to grind, we'll keep it simple, we'll, uh, we'll grind the Royal Navy Destroyer line. So, from the get-go, okay, you start out at, at the Tier 1, and from the get-go, what you should do is spend some time looking at this screen, try to do some research on the ships themselves how many captains you're going to need for the grind um, the reason why I say that is for example the German DDs uh, Gaede and Z23 have 150 millimeter guns they don't actually sync that well with um, a regular German destroyer captain where you might be tempted to run basic firing training um, so when I went to do my research I realized I'm gonna need at least two captains here uh, one for all of the other uh, boats under 139 millimeter gun caliber and then another captain for Z23 and Gaeta so how I I handled that uh, I basically came through and I just started grinding I came through and I just I took one captain and I I basically ground up to tier five uh, I think uh, it was like uh, I think I started with like a, a six point captain or, or something like that um, by the time I got up to tier five I had concealment expert um, and then I had a, a ten point captain just laying around uh, from Christmas crates that I threw on Gaeta and then I continued my my grind with uh, the other captain uh, the the small caliber captain for Moss I switched the uh, Gaeta captain into Z23 where he currently resides now um, and basically finished the grind with the small caliber captain and this ended up well this captain's no longer on z20 or z52 but i ended up basically with a 19 point captain um sometime after i finished my grind i i think i ended up with a 17 point captain or, or so and i ended up just finishing him off playing z23 as you can see i play the ship a fair amount and uh, 
that's actually one of the keys here. When you look at, at my 19 point captains, come on, UI, keep up with me. That's one of the keys. Hop back to modules. 2.7 million XP. Uh, Yu Yang, I haven't played that much, but even that's 1.4 million XP. Grozovoy, haven't really played it that much. 1.2 million XP. I really don't play Kaba that much. Almost a half a million. Gearing, I do play a bit. 3.3 million XP. Shimakaze, approaching 7.5 million XP. Uh, and what that means is you hop into your to take a look at a captain and you see elite commander XP and I'm, I'm actually gonna run through and level something real quick for you um, so for example I am finishing some of my tier 8 ships and oh, where is it Kagero Kagero, even though I've got 1.2 million XP on it, I've pulled the captain off it, and I'm in the process of finishing it off. So, I've got 213, almost 214,000 Elite Commander XP in the bank. By hitting this plus sign up here, I have the ability to take that 214,000 with basically 86,000 um, free XP and get the 19th point. I'm just going to go on ahead and do it for uh, the sake of the video. That will get, I now have a 19 point captain for my Kagero and I can finish off the build with Adrenaline Rush. This, cap, this ship is now done, completed its grind and rejoins other things like, well that's a premium, but uh, my Benson, um, Cossack, I thought Ognavoy was in here somewhere. Yeah, Ognavoy. Yeah, Ognavoy's now got a 19-point captain. These are all ships that I didn't... I mean, you look, 30,000 XP on Ognavoy. I, I never play it, but I have a 19-point captain on it. And I have it because I've played the hell out of my 19-point captains elsewhere in, in the game. And printed off... I basically printed this captain just through that process that I just showed you um, so the most important thing that you can get even beyond a tier 10 ship in my opinion is your first 19 point captain the 19 point captain starts generating elite commander XP for you which like free XP uh, just it, it just banks and banks until you're you're ready to use it for things <clears throat> so when you're approaching these grinds the very first thing I do let me hop over to the French go over some of the uh, the preparations like if you know there's a, a line that's coming there's no reason to start out fresh um, I started my my quote French grind uh, when they first announced the ships and so I've I've had a month couple months head start on getting things done for for the French accounts and I don't know where my French captain is right now I think Vaculin yes um, this is my current French destroyer captain already 19 points because I've just leveled this guy up through Elite Commander XP and basically completed my build and what I'll do is it's it's a couple things uh, because the, this is early release I am playing the hell out of the, the ships that I do have uh, in the hopes I, I haven't actually read uh, if the XP will actually stay on these ships if it has uh, I mean, I've, I've already unlocked the tier 7, so basically I would just need to go tier 8, tier 9, tier 10, 
and uh, I, I've already got the 19 point captain ready to go for the Kleber and from there I will uh, I will backfill the ships that I want to keep so for example generally I keep everything tier 6 tier 5 to tier 6 and above uh, I'll probably keep the Jaguar and uh, keep basically everything from tier 5 to a tier 5 and above so what will end up happening say the captain that uh, they came with Gippard was a nine point captain I will start leveling him up just through this manner or you know through randomly just playing the ship and uh, grind XP the regular way just by playing the ship with the captain um, <coughs> same thing with uh, with Jaguar this was a three-point captain so basically got a long way to go with with this guy uh, generally what I like to try to do is before I'll take a, a destroyer out is I will try to level the captain to 10 points that'll be a priority for me and at 10 points you're you're basically usable at at most tiers uh, some of the higher tier ships you may need a little more some of uh, for example the lower tier R Russian gunboats it, it may be 12 points where you need expert marksmen um, so there's some there's a little bit of digging that you need to do to understand what you need uh, to have a comfortable grind and the reason why I say you want to have a comfortable grind nobody wants to be playing a ship that you're just gonna struggle in uh, it's it's not good for you it burns you out on the game you want to be comfortable so um, that's that's how you you need to put in the time the effort do the homework figure out what you need to at least you know make a ship usable um, you know for example um, the Japanese destroyer lines popular uh, Japanese destroyers and most of the destroyer lines like I said you only need a, a 10 point captain to get you you know in the game um, and basically get you to concealment expert uh, or AFT depending on the boat that's usually the first 10 point route that you're taking depending on what what ship or what nation it is for a destroyer and uh, <clears throat> and then use that information to to decide how much you know how much printing you need to do how much you need to spend you need to have banked up for for free XP uh, well free XP and elite commander XP uh, to get a captain where you're going to have a comfortable grind uh, that was one of my first issues when I ground uh, Mutsuki it was a really painful experience because I was grinding this ship with like uh, a six or seven point captain something like that and the tech tree was completely different where uh, concealment expert I believe was 15 points and you had this massive grind all the way to concealment expert that I mean I was I was I was at the very beginning of the tier 9 Kagero in my grind with it that's when I first got concealment expert that's how long it took uh, so <clears throat> just uh, I hated Mutsuki for such a long time afterwards even when they they buffed it I mean you can tell I've really barely touched the ship since they even uh, moved it down to tier 5 and honestly it's not a bad ship these days 5.4 concealment the torpedoes are actually pretty damn good and uh, 
it's you know this is a, this is a decent ship these days um, but because of my experience grinding this ship in a bad manner I don't I still don't like the ship and I, I think that's really key for you to figure out um, you know doing what you need to do to be comfortable um, so you're coming in just to kind of recap this you're coming in and you're grinding your your first captain all the way through okay you say you're gonna keep you know like me you're gonna keep tier 5 through tier 10 you come in and you recruit captains for each individual one now you're not gonna go right back out and start playing these ships with podunk captain on it uh, that's just gonna make you want to pull your hair out no no need to do that instead you can uh, start leveling one of these captains and usually how this works for me when I I come up on uh, an event ranked is coming uh, clan battles at, at tier 8 I go through that tier and I start basically fitting everything out as I as I would want it fitted out so for example um, well, since I'm in tier 9 right now, um, the next rank season's coming up. So, uh, now we've already had a prior rank season at tier 9, so a lot of these ships I've already went through, and I've, I've basically finished the, the grinds on them, where everything's got 19-point captains, everything's how I want it. Um, there are some minor tweaks, like pulling uh, AA Guns 1 off for... Uh, for ranked there are still some minor tweaks that I need to do but the general concept is um, I've went through and I've got these ships where I want them they're ready for for ranked you know everything from you know the special uh, upgrades that you purchase for coal um, basically everything dialed in just the way I want it and uh, then it's it's ready quote for for rank season and that's that's how I've I've approached account leveling it's it's not I haven't really went through systematically and went okay I'm going to you know, put a 19-point captain on my Jutland, then my Lightning, then my Jervis, then my Icarus. It's it's actually when, you know, I, I got the 19-point captain on Daring. Um, actually, it did go Jutland in this case because Jutland was, uh, uh, was in the uh, category for Tier 9 ranked. Um, do I have a 19 point captain on Jervis? I think it's, no, not even close. Um, but it's, uh, and you can see there's, there's still ships that, um, that I still have grinds to do. It's just, I haven't earmarked that ship for a rank season or something like that. Um, lightning. I know I do have a 19 point captain. Um, but this is this is uh, how I've went about trying to get uh, everything up to snuff as quickly as possible, so it's going to be there when I need it. And uh, that's that's the key thing: uh, making sure that you've got your ships, the build, and everything complete and ready when you need it most. You headed out, baby. Hope you have a good day. Um, so if you guys have any questions or comments on it, uh, leave me a comment and I will uh, answer that question the best I can. Uh, I'm hoping that I covered everything. I think I did. Not 100% sure. Um, but it's everything off the, off the top of my head. The bottom line, get your 19 point captains on a ship that you're going to play the hell out of and uh, generate that elite commander XP. 
uh, simply because every one of these guys that you have every time well that's not that's a captain that I'm actually that's a second captain that I'm working on some of these ships have multiple 19 point captains my gearing is the biggest offender of that I've got four or five for it um, just because I get I get tired of paying money every time I want to change a build or something like that it's nope not gonna just decided I wasn't gonna do that so I'd rather have multiple captains um, but this is a good example of you know a, a captain that it all he's doing is just sitting here and when I get you know the need I just dump some another point into him and uh, you know keep going um, but each 19 point captain is uh, another ship that just like compound interest at your at your bank you know it it generates more and more elite commander xp which is you know it's it's not just affecting this ship it affects your entire account just how free xp does it's absolutely um brilliant that they did that oh one other thing if you were to uh i don't really want to move a captain uh, moving captains, let's see, something I don't care about. Well, let me, let me do it this way. G101, three, or you know what? I know just a test case. Where's my T61? Sorry, I'm all over the place right now, but... I just remembered I have a captain that I'm training the old way. And it's just being very slow because I already have a 19 point captain for the Moss. And this is a second 19 point captain because I'm retarded. And didn't know about this captain that had just been hidden away. So this was a 19 point captain that I just found in my account. And he is currently undergoing training on my Moss. Um, if I were to reassign this guy somewhere, uh, you've got the, uh, um, the different, uh, options to use either doubloons to complete the retraining or use Elite Commander XP to, uh, complete the training, which would also tie into your free XP. It'll pull your Elite Commander XP first then use, your, use up whatever free XP it needs to complete it. Uh, so there's there's ways of when you go to accelerate the, the training. Uh, I can't even move this guy back to my moss without resetting it, so I'm not gonna. But uh, you would hit the uh, complete commander training. Actually, it'll, it'll show it here. Complete commander retraining for X, Y, and Z. Uh, usually there's a prompt where you can, where you can, uh, spend 200,000 credits and get half of the XP up front and reduce the training cost by half. Uh, because I've already done that, it's not popping up. Um, uh, in my opinion, anytime you get like a 14, 15 point captain or above, it's always worth it. Just spend the 200,000 credits and just be done with it. Um. So that, I believe, will, will take up, or will cover everything. Um, so, yep, if you, guys, if you guys see anything that I missed, make sure you leave a comment. If it's egregious, I'll go back through and uh, do uh, like an actual video where I write everything down before I do the video. Uh, in this case, this is a video that I'm just doing on the fly right now, uh, just because I had, a, you know, 15 minutes or so, and uh, just trying to get something out there to help uh, a couple guys that are asking. So if you got any questions or comments, again, leave them below. Help me with the video. If I, if I missed anything, screwed anything up, scream at me in the comments, and I will do what I can to get it fixed. Hope you guys are having a good night, and I will talk to you later.